Hi, can you smell that vegans? I just ate loads of salmon, it was absolutely delicious. So now onto the topic of today's video. So, after me announcing I'm no longer vegan, if you haven't seen it, because some of you may be new, there'll be a link for up above, so you can go check that out. I was vegan for around six years, started going back to animal foods just over two weeks ago, feeling absolutely amazing, because I'm getting nutrients that I've been lacking for so long in a vegan diet that just made me so malnourished and deteriorated me in so many negative ways, it affected my whole human, everyday experience in so many ways that's just not nice at all. So, many of the vegans that were subscribed to this YouTube channel and were aware of me said in the comment section things such as, I am paid by the meat industry to actually start eating meat so I can promote it like crazy. And then there's also a lot of people saying, I'm eating meat to get loads and loads more views on my channel and so I can earn a lot of money as well. And it's like, seriously man, so many of these vegans are just so stupid beyond belief. Because to even come out with this just makes no sense whatsoever. You think that the meat industry came along to me and gave me an offer of loads of money to start eating meat when I cared about the animals so much when I was on a vegan diet. That was the number one reason that I stuck to a vegan diet for so long and I still love animals now whether a lot of vegans believe that or not. But yeah, I wasn't thriving on a vegan diet and I needed animal foods to feel my best so it's just the situation that I'm in. And when I was a hardcore, dogmatic, religious, evangelistic, vegan, it wouldn't have mattered how much money you'd offered me, I would have said, no, I'm not going to eat meat, no matter how much money you're going to give me. Because I cared about the animals so much, and I believed it was the best thing for my health and the environment as well. So no one could have convinced me, no matter what they'd tried doing, to get me to start eating meat again. So it's like, come on people. You really think that so many of us people that have been vegan for so long for the animals that are social media influencers that are no longer vegan would do it for some paper? No, not whatsoever. This is why we just kept dragging ourselves through the vegan diet and trying this supplement and doing green juice fasts and water fast and spending so much money on so many different things to make us thrive that would maybe help for a bit but never actually allowed us to reach the most optimal state of health within our mind and body holistically and doing so many other things to just make it so we could sustain a vegan diet long term and we all wanted it to work for us so much. We tried so many different things but it didn't work out. So that is why we went back to meat. But there's just so many judgmental vegans that are just in a box with their own perception and they can't see outside of that box and they just project their beliefs onto other people. When, to be honest, you cannot fully understand the situation people like myself have been in that have gone in the direction of starting eating animal foods. And I used to be a person that used to make response videos to certain vegans that weren't thriving. And I said, oh, you need to just do this thing and that thing and that thing. And when I was in that place back in the past and doing that, I also did not understand fully what was going on for them and why they made the switch. But now I am on the opposite end of the spectrum and I'm in their shoes. I can fully be empathic and compassionate and understanding with them and why they made the switch just makes complete sense to me. So to judge someone before you actually have any experience with it, it's just like, come on, man. See the bigger picture and put your shoes in the other person's reality. that has got this type of thing going on where they start eating loads of animal foods. And you know how hard it is for us people that care about animals so much to go back to eating animal foods. This is why it took us so long, even when we was deteriorating, to go back to animal foods. We have so much of a belief system around eating animals. We have emotions, so we actually feel the pain of the animals. And there's just so many other things that just make it so difficult to go 
back towards eating animal foods. I had so much resistance within me, but also at the same time, I knew that I needed certain nutrients in animal foods. I was lacking on a vegan diet that I could never get on a vegan diet that was just making me just not feel good whatsoever. And when I'm actually sharing that with you, it makes me feel a bit upset because it's just like, come on, man, open up your heart and actually just be understanding. It's like, it's ridiculous. If I could thrive on a plant-based diet, I would still be eating it. And I did everything under the sun that you could possibly imagine to make it work. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. They say, did you try this thing or that thing or that thing? And I'm like, yes, I tried that and that. I got the test done, I took the supplements, I did this and that and that. And it's like, I tried my absolute best and it didn't work. And I just had to accept that. And I found that it was hard to eat animal foods at first, but then I started to get amazing benefits from them, which were just so profound, which are gonna make a 30 a day video when it gets up to 30 days of me eating animal foods and I'll share all the different benefits that I had. But I did actually make a video talking about a lot of them that I'll link up above. So if you're interested in that, you can check out that video. Man, the benefits have just been absolutely profound mentally and physically, holistically, more than I could have ever imagined. And guess what? If I was aware that I would be feeling this amazing from eating animal foods, I would have done it way, way sooner because I just dragged it out way too long with the vegan diet. And many times I thought I was thriving when I actually wasn't. But many times on the vegan diet, I was feeling absolutely amazing, but it wasn't the best health that I could be at. And I actually only realized that not long ago, which I'll talk about in that video in depth that I just linked up above a moment ago. Oh, and for anyone says I've done it so I can get way more views on my YouTube channel to make so much money, it's like absolutely ridiculous. First off, Talking about eating meat and all the other things around this dietary switch that I've made, yes, there is potential to earn good money from it, from views, but to be honest, on the vegan diet, the amount of supplements that I was recommending to people was making me thousands and thousands of dollars a month. But how many supplements am I recommending on this diet that I'm on now? None, because they're just not necessary whatsoever. And then there's all the other things that I could recommend like food processors and blenders and juicers and the things are just endless. The amount of things that I'm making money from due to promoting a vegan diet was so many things. And when you actually think about it, if I just wanted to maximize my views and my income through YouTube specifically with the adverts that get put on the videos, because that's how you make money from YouTube, a lot of people aren't aware of that, I would just make some really brainless entertainment because people like PewDiePie that has the most subscribers in the world, over a hundred million, he earns the most revenue out of any YouTube content creator out there. And it's just gaming and other brainless entertainment. So if I wanted to make the most money, I'd follow in the footsteps of people like that. But guess what? I only talk what I am passionate about and I'm always sharing things that are valuable to people that can help them transform their lives and their health so they can feel the best and have the best, happiest, healthiest human experience possible. And what a lot of people don't realize as well, I earn money from so many other different sources as well that can easily sustain my lifestyle. And I am super, super rich due to the vegan diet and movement because I saved up so much money due to making so much money off so many vegans, not in bad ways or ways that are not in line with my morals, but I was promoting things that I thought was good to people and a lot of people got benefits from them. But to be honest, yes, those things that I was recommending can really, really help them, but instead they can save all that money on those supplements and those various other things that are recommending so start eating animal foods. And this is why I'm being as transparent as possible to show people and tell people, stop believing that vegan agenda. Wake up. If you're not thriving on it, start eating some high quality grass fed animal foods that are pasture raised, antibiotics free and hormone free. And then you can stop wasting your money on all these things that you don't need to actually just survive on a vegan diet and not thrive. And one last thing to add on to that, I've been an entrepreneur pretty much my whole adult life. And there is so many things that I could make tens of thousands 
of dollars from a month. But guess what? I don't do them. I used to do things for money that ruined my mental health and my physical health. But I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Because it was also killing me from the inside out. It was destroying my soul. And it was just not nice whatsoever. And when I got to a point in my life where I woke up to that reality, I said, I'm never doing anything for money again. So for me, I will only do things that is my purpose and passion in life that brings me the greatest joy. And then yes, money can flow into your human experience at the same time. And we all deserve to have an abundance of money so we can have complete freedom with money and afford everything that we need, want and desire. I think that is a human birthright for everyone and everyone deserves so much money in their life. But yeah, as we know, it doesn't matter what you say to vegans, they will not listen to you. At least the majority of them. I didn't used to be like that, but so many of these vegans are so dogmatic and so religious that no matter what you say to them, they will not listen. They don't have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing. They have a mind that is closed and that is just attached to so many different things and they will just not see out of this limited perspective no matter what you do or say. So it's a bit of a wasted energy. And I just wanted to make this video because it's something that I just wanted to get off my chest and I think a lot of other people need to hear this that maybe not thriving on a vegan diet that may be a social media influencer or someone that might be concerned about what other vegans say because to be honest at the end of the day they can say that I'm funded by the meat industry or that I'm even eating meat to make more money. I don't care at the end of the day. It just makes me laugh. I'm someone that loves human psychology and it's just very interesting to see how most humans act in the world. And I'm actually gonna make a video very soon talking about why vegans are actually very violent people and they are actually paying for slavery and abuse in the world. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in that video and other videos I have in the future, click the subscribe button down below, click the bell notification button. And don't forget to leave your questions down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe because yes, this is the end of the video. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace. Ah!